So the statute that this uh, thug, I mean, um, bailiff is quoting is saying that you cannot disrupt a meeting. In the courtroom, no cameras or phones are allowed to be on. Sir, can you step out? You can step out in the hall and film all you want, sir. Just in the courtroom, it's not allowed, okay? That's by the judge's order. Is it a private hearing? It is a public meeting under 4205. Is it a private hearing? It is a public meeting under 4205. And it's her courtroom, it's her domain. What the hell did you just say? And it's her courtroom, it's her domain. So if you'd like to film, you can step outside the door right there, sir. So this hearing is private? No, sir, it's a public area it is 4205 meeting under her rules you cannot have your camera on under her rules you cannot have your camera on can you point to the legislation i just i just quoted for you texas penal code 4205 <clears throat> a person commits an offense if with intent to prevent or disrupt a lawful meeting, procession, or gathering, he obstructs or interferes with the meeting, procession, or gathering by physical action or verbal utterance. Um, a, an offense under this section is a Class B misdemeanor. So the statute that this uh, thug, I mean, um, bailiff, is quoting is saying that you cannot disrupt a meeting. Um, so this goes back to a lot of the things where First Amendment auditing started where people walk in with cameras and they say, oh, well, whatever you're doing is disorderly conduct or it's obstructing a police officer. And it's been ruled multiple times that no, um, having a camera is not disorderly conduct and it does not obstruct anyone from doing their job. Um, he's, he, he says again and again, is this an open court? Is this a public hearing? And he, the officer, keep, the bailiff keeps saying, yes, it is public, but you can't have cameras in here you know, trying to say, by having a camera, you're disruptive.